Hello, this is your channel Sosa NASA One. My name is Emmanuel, and now I'm going to show you how to change the battery of this digital multimeter. It's very important to know when we need to change the digital multimeter battery. Now I'm going to show you how to know that here in our channel Sosa NASA One in English. Let's look, yeah, here. The first step is turn on this digital multimeter. This is very easy. If we move this selector in this way or in this way, this digital multimeter will power on. Look, in this case, I'm going to move this selector in this way. And now we are watching the digital multimeter screen. If we watch here, this little symbol, this is the battery symbol. When we watch this symbol, on the digital multimeter screen, this means we need to replace the digital multimeter battery because this battery is low of charge. In this case, we are going to replace the battery inside this digital multimeter. The first step is turn off. Okay, now move the digital multimeter in this way and let to read the information on the digital multimeter. I mean in this part, this part. This is the battery symbol and this is the voltage, nine volts, direct current voltage, and this is the battery model. With this information, now we know which battery use this digital multimeter without opening the space where is the battery. Now, the next step is open this space. Okay, open this ready watch here this is a 9 volts battery now let's to pull out in this way take the battery in this way now use this Now, in this way. Okay, ready. Let's move the digital multimeter. And now we are going to measure how many volts has inside this battery. In this case, I'm going to use other digital multimeter. This one to measure how many volts has this battery. Turn on and choose here 20 volts in direct current voltage area. Now watch which is the positive and the negative. This is the positive and this is the negative. Now take this and touch the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative. And watch on the multimeter screen. In this case, this battery has 5.40 
volts. It means this battery is very low of charge because this battery must have 9 volts. But like we are watching now on the multimeter screen, the voltage of this battery is only 5 volts, more or less. It means it's very low. In this case, we are going to search other battery. This, for example. It's better to test or measure how many volts has the battery before introduce the battery in the digital multimeter. In this case, let me see. This is the positive and this is the negative. And now, let me see, touch and touch and watch on the multimeter screen. In this case, this battery has 9.03 volts. It means this battery is good. We can use this battery in the digital multimeter. Now, turn off and let's to use the other digital multimeter. In this case, we are going to do the same. Take here, let me see, and look here. Be careful in this part. The small with the big, and the big with the small, in this way. Look, this is the correct way to connect this. Introduce one, and now introduce the other. Now it's ready. Now introduce the battery inside the digital multimeter, in this way. And put here the door, in this way. Ready. Let's watch here. And turn on. Now, if we watch here on the screen, on the digital multimeter screen, the battery symbol disappear. It means now the battery in the digital multimeter is full of charge, has enough energy for this digital multimeter. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here in our channel, Susana Sawan in English, here on YouTube. Uh, share this video. Give me a like. And thank you for watching. See you next time.